be vlogging today. Uh, today we have a few different things happening. Uh, we're going to the farm this morning. Um, today is a Tuesday and Tuesday is like our farm day. So we always spend that at the farm. We're going to be looking after our kitten. As you guys might know, we're looking after a tiny, tiny, tiny little kitten <laughs> that just appeared on the farm. So I'll be looking after her and we're also doing a big produce run as well. So packing up and going to buy some passion fruit because we have our new menu this week and we found some really nice local, um, local ish. It's a little bit of a drive, but going to get some passion fruit today. So yeah, it's going to be a big day. So I'll get, bring you guys along with me. So today at the farm, Devon's already started. Hey Dev! I'm just showing everyone what you're doing. Devon and his farm hand today are building these raised beds along here for perennials. I think the rhubarb. The, rhubarb yeah, planting some rhubarb. So how exciting. Looks like Cindy's helping. <laughs> oh. oh, that's gonna be great. Cause this space here, it was sort of always a space we couldn't really utilize. And it was just always overgrown with grass, so that'll be a nice use of that space. Hey, Dev. Yeah, I feel it's not even so much about getting the rhubarb bed in as it is having one less area to try to clean. <laughs> you know, well, that's true. Keep, keep grass down. But see, like, rhubarb's probably easier to maintain than, like, um, keeping the grass down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, on this slope, we can just oh. grow some flowers or a creeper what was that? Or, or something. What was that? On the slope, you're going to grow yeah, flowers. Yeah, because the bed will just go, like, here. Oh, oh, so you know. it's not going to be that wide. You're just putting that there, just, yeah. And then um, down the slope, flowers or some sort of Yeah, creeper. definitely flowers, Dev, for the bees. And on the ends. The beneficial on insects. The ends too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's always a project. It's exciting. So I'm just in the greenhouse for the first time since last week. Just going to find my sunflowers so what i have been doing is doing like test batches of sunflowers so i am testing how my sunflowers that i go that that i grow and harvest their seeds goes compared to bought sunflower seeds because i'd really love to be able to harvest my own seeds and use my own sunflowers so it's just the first time i'm seeing it it's a bit disappointing um, so these are the ones I've grown by myself and this is the one that I bought. <laughs> <It's real. laughs> I had all these test batches, so test batch one, two, three, and then the bought seeds. Oh, at least the bought seeds come up. That's a bit disappointing. I'm trying drying the flower heads and then harvesting the seeds, waiting till the back yellows, waiting till it dries. This is what Google told me. And I net them just in case the birds get to them. So there's a few that I've got netted. So none of them come up. Oh, how disappointing. Hmm. Don't know what to think about that. <laughs> but today I'll be sowing a few more seeds because... Yeah, need to get onto it. So then this bed here, I planted up last week of sunflower seeds, but they were the sunflower seeds that I grew myself. So I would assume nothing is going to come up in there, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, oh well, that's why we do a test.
so here is the before and here is the after of the new beds so we have planted the rhubarb in there but they're extremely extremely tiny <laughs> so there we go the after So Deb's just down at the farm still working. Um, I'm just going to clean the house now and then we have to feed the kitten in a little bit, probably about an hour. And then we're heading off to pick up some fresh produce for our new menu. We're going to try to get some passion fruits and make some like passion fruit syrup for the new menu. So that's what's happening. It's a really hot day so I do not um, envy Devon out in this sort of weather. It is hot. <laughs> <laughs> but this house is getting a bit dirty, so I'm like, better do something. Hey, Linnies. <laughs> We're all just like so hot. We're all just like, Ugh. it's so hard to get the motivation and the energy when it's really hot. You just want to do nothing and sit in front of the fan, but I'm going to make myself do something. Okay, so we're just gonna take our little kitten out for her feed. She gets fed um, every four to five hours at the moment. When we first found her, she was being fed every two to three hours. Now she's every four to five. So she is getting bigger and stronger. It's so nice watching her grow. Um, every week she just gets a little bit stronger, which is so nice. She's purring already. When she's hungry though, she's extremely clawish. Oh. <laughs> so better get her bottle. Better get her bottle ready. Um, so with her bottle, we just have some pre-made milk in the fridge. Oh, the robot is just starting to clean the floor. So we just have some pre-made milk in the fridge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and um, I just heat it up with a little bit of hot hot water. I keep a thermos. And just heat up the bottle. Just constantly trying to make sure she doesn't fall off. <laughs> so I just put a little bit of hot water in there, pop the bubble in. It takes a little bit of time to heat up. And it's like the longest three minutes ever with a hungry little kitten. <laughs> it's just the longest three minutes ever. Yeah, she's hungry. You're not that hungry, you're just putting it on. Okay. You are. You had a big feed last time. At the moment, I'm trying to start her weaning. It's a lot harder than you think. Maybe, I think she might be a little bit young yet, but I'm just seeing if she's interested at all. Doesn't seem like she is, so 
Maybe that might be next week. So she's, I think it'll be four weeks. We've had her now three weeks. So I think around five weeks she'll start to wean. She is so squirmy. <laughs> squirmy wormy. Let's check the temperature, hey? A bit longer. A bit longer. Her little ears when she drinks is just the cutest. <laughs> and she really gets into it. She like sinks her down. But her little ears twitch when she drinks. strange phase. Yeah, she's just climbing. She never used to do this, but now with milk, she just gets in this crazy, like, phase. Like, look at her. She's just a maniac. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> she just turns into a maniac. I'm not sure why. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe she's ready to wean because she just turns into just this savage little maniac. Don't you? I'm not sure why. I think it's just like a phase. But she's like not to be trusted around the milky bottle. Um, my mum babysits her when we're at work, and she has to wear gloves when she feeds her because she just claws into pieces. <laughs> so she looks very sweet, but can be very savage. Okay. Looks can be deceiving. Do you want any more? She's just finished her milky. Now she normally just has a little play. I'm trying to get her introduced to the dogs. The dogs seem to be really good around her. Last couple of weeks I've been working on that. Looney just loves her. She gets a little bit much sometimes. <laughs> but they love each other. harvested this gorgeous pumpkin from the farm this morning. Devin, that pumpkin is just stunning. Yeah. It's the most beautiful pumpkin I think I've ever seen. He's over here having it's snuggles. The one nice pumpkin. It really is though, it's just beautiful. Right. <laughs> just bit my nose and scratched my eye. She bit your nose and scratched your eye? That's not good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's turned into a little savage, isn't she? 
Watch out, Sini. She's coming to get you. <laughs> Watch out. Oh. Just going for a drive. Just going in to pick up some passion fruit. Hey, babe. Yep. We're off to pick up passion Ooh. fruit. <laughs> You're right. You had like a little bit of yeah, a, I had a, little, like, a big, gross hiccup thing. Hiccupy thing. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get passion fruits and we're gonna make passion fruit syrup. Tell everyone what you're gonna what else you're gonna do with it. Like what are you gonna do with these passion fruits? Oh I don't know, yeah. So we are gonna make a passion fruit panna cotta. Ooh! And then we'll be using passion fruit syrup on top of said panna cotta. And I don't know. It's all we figured out thus far. Yeah, so we're moving to a really seasonal menu. So we're just going to find what produce we can in the area. And then we're going to think about how we can make it to suit our menu. Um, and on Thursday, we're going in to finalize the new menu and hopefully get that out. Um, it is really, really exciting. I want to do a passion fruit cocktail as well. That would be really nice. So, yeah. But Thursday, we're going in to, to try a few of these things. We have tried the panna cotta already, but just elements of it. So it'll be really nice to try that together and see how it goes and, and, and finalize the plating. But yeah, we're moving to a smaller menu that's really, really seasonal. So it, there's some items would only be on the menu for a few weeks, uh, for a month, and then like they'll get moved out for something else that's seasonal. Because with the farm, we find that sometimes you put something on the menu and then the season's over before the menu finishes. So we're, we're getting a smaller menu, changing it more frequently so we can really use extremely fresh and local produce. That's the plan, hey Deb? Yeah, we're just going for a drive now, enjoying the beautiful countryside. It's kind of a nice drive, really. But we're getting like how many buckets of passion fruit? Uh, well, somewhere between six and nine 20, 20 litre buckets. Of that's a lot. That's a lot of passion, passion fruit. So. That's a lot of passion fruit. <laughs> I'd love to see how fine. We're going to be very busy tomorrow. Processing yeah. passion fruit. Yeah. Ah, it's all fun. insanely a passion fruit yeah which is like duh but it like smells so good it's like so we went and got some dinner and Devon just the whole time was staring into the kitchen he does this everywhere it's where I'd like to be what do you mean we'd like to be it's just so embarrassing I'm just like Devon sit down you're embarrassing me and yeah, it's just this, like this time I was even like standing up and I know you were standing there's no one else left. <laughs> I know, but Devin, there's staff there and they don't want to feel uncomfortable. Like, no, I definitely made them feel uncomfortable. No, we don't. We don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and I, I roused him and told him to sit down. And then he sits down and he's like staring as he's sitting down. I'm like, Devin, you're still staring. So, yeah, this is like a, everywhere we go, he's always looking into the kitchen. Oh, I find it interesting. What equipment do I have? How many staff do I have? Oh, look at that piece of machinery. Etc. Etc. Oh, they got one of those spatulas. <laughs> it's alright, Dev. You be you. You do you.
IDs come on. There we go. So this is the next day, and here is just some sweet little footage of feeding our little kitten. Ah, we feed her so many times a day, every couple of hours, so there's plenty of opportunities to get some sweet footage of her. She is just adorable. Okay, so we're off at work. We are starting to trial a few of our new menu items. So this is the panna cotta Devin was talking about, made from the, the passion fruit that we got. Please excuse me, I have no idea how to get panna cotta out. 
they do a better a lot better job <laughs> but we're basically today we're just playing around <laughs> it looks so bad they can get it out really easy when they get it out it looks really good so this is the passion fruit syrup as well that Devon made and it was absolutely divine and then he made this like beautiful meringue with it as well it was just incredible and those passion fruits that we got oh my goodness they are just so good they're like a little bit smaller than normal passion fruit but they were so flavorsome and here we have another new dish that we were trying. This is featuring our uh, local grown capers. So this is awesome caper farm um, like nearby. And we decided to feature their capers on our menu. Devon just lightly fries them. Then he serves it with some smoked trout, some, some of our own grown dill, and then like some Parmesan cheese. We were just playing around just like a little bit of Parmesan and we were really, really happy with how this one turned out. And this here is that passion fruit cocktail I was telling you guys about. I said I wanted to try one. So this is Devon's passion fruit syrup. And then add a little bit of pineapple juice, uh, just a squeeze of fresh lime, uh, vodka shaken over ice. And then we garnish it with a dried lime wheel and a piece of thyme. And it is absolutely incredible. I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. Okay, that's about it guys. So we had a few other things, like we trialed a souffle and a few other things. It was a really, really good day. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.